Coach, what, you know, how first off, how exciting is it to be back in here, hear balls bouncing, you know, and be around the environment where, you know, everybody's trying to learn and get better? No, it's so good to be back in the gym. The guys are working their tails off. Uh, the level of teaching and learning and then just the energy of the gym is fantastic. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be asking you or Dylan about this a uh, hundred times, but, you know, early on, just what stood out about, you know, Jet and Anthony? Well, I think their, their willingness to learn. Uh, they're just soaking everything up that the coaches are teaching and the coaches are doing a phenomenal job of breaking down things to the slowest level that it can be so they're able to adjust to the game the right way. What is the biggest challenge for, for two guys coming straight out of the draft, coming into coming into this environment, kind of getting back into a practice with them again? Because it's been a while since they've they played. Well, I think the great part about it is that we're, we're slowing things down for them. Uh, and they're, they're, they're sponges in what they're asking and, and how they're trying to learn. So I think it's really beneficial to them that we're actually slowing the pace down so they can adjust to it and see the things you know in real time right now. Like, but like you said, they hadn't practiced. But I, I think it's a good thing that, you know, they're, they're just willing to sit down and learn and understand it. How valuable is it to have guys who've been on, who are on the roster last year in Kayla and Caleb and Kevon? It's so good. I, I mean, you know, Kevon and Caleb have done a great job of grabbing those guys, pulling them to the side, talking to them. DJ Wilson, who's also played in the league, understanding what, you know, what these guys are going to see, the way the game is played in Summer League. You know, those guys haven't played one session of Summer League before. It's great for them to learn from these guys, and they're all willing teachers. What are you looking for out of them in Summer League? You know, I, I think the great part about that with young guys is just helping them start their journey. You know, how do they get acclimated to the league, the way the game's being called, the officiating, uh, the speed of the game. And, you know, like I said, the great part about what our staff is doing here is just they're teaching. Uh, they're allowing the game to slow down for these guys so they can so they can understand it real time. So it's not a whirlwind coming at them. Beyond the draft picks and the guys who were on the roster last year, you mentioned D.J. Wilson. What do you like about the rest of the summer league roster, someone like Ty Soto, some of these other guys that are part of the team? Well, a big portion of it, like our draft picks, their ability to walk into their journey of what it is, that, what the NBA is for them. Uh, how they can find their space in it, how they fit into what the league is asking, what it's demanding, and just see how they, you know, how they respond to what summer league does. What are the advantages of having everyone? You know, obviously this is home base. What are the advantages of having everyone here before you head out, before you ship out to Vegas, and, and get the opportunity to, to work out over there? Well, it's great to be at home. You know, I, you know, Vegas becomes you know 12, you know 12 days, 14 days out there. So just being at home. Getting in the gym, we have you know the facility with just great space. The guys getting understanding what we want to, to have them do on a regular basis. Our, 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 some of our older guys are in the gym working out right now, so I think it's great to have that, and these young guys are able to see that. What kind of interaction have you know maybe some of the boss players? I know everyone's kind of off doing their own thing right now, but have they had any interaction with these guys since they've Well, it's been great. You know, Jalen's been in the gym. He's done a great job of getting with Anthony as well as Jet. You know, obviously they've worked out a, a little bit together. And I mean, that's the environment that these guys have created. They embrace each other. They're willing to compete with one another. And it's, it's, it's a great environment for them to continue to grow and help each other get better. How does this summer league sort of help you set a foundation, build a foundation for when you come back for training camp and what you want to do in training? Well, our coaches are doing such a great job of teaching. So a lot of things that these guys are going to see now are the exact same things they're going to see in training camp. And the fact that we do have our veterans, some of our vet guys that were on the roster last year in the gym working, these young guys know the body of work that they're going to have to put in. Like, they're, you're not going to take the days off and how you have to work in order to get better. Paolo will reportedly play with Team USA this summer. Just how valuable of an experience do you think that will be for him? I think it's such a great experience to be around, you know, that high level of players, to see where you are, uh, to learn from some other great players with, with, throughout the league, and just it allows him to raise his level, also his ability to lead and speak uh, and use his voice for the leadership in our locker room. You keep talking about the journey, Coach. As a former player yourself, what is the advice you have for guys taking this journey? I really think you just have to embrace what the coaches are giving you, you your ability to try to, to learn whatever they're, they're trying to put in front of you, and then just go out and be yourself. Don't try to do things that you're not capable of doing, or you know, just be yourself in that, in that regard. Like If you're a great shooter, go out there and shoot the basketball. Uh, do what you're best capable of doing, and I think the more you try to do something that you're not, you, know, you get exposed. So just enjoy the journey, enjoy the process, but be a sponge every single day.
you know, just how's it been for the first couple days of a summer league practice? You know, what stood out to you? What have you learned so far? Um, it's been good. We've been competing at a high level, uh, kind of getting familiar with the offense and defensive scheme. So, you know, I think uh, the first three packs have been super productive and, and we're all going pretty hard, so it's going well. Yeah, it's just a jet. Has, it, has it set into you yet that you're in the NBA? You know, have you had that feeling yet of what, what it's been like over the last couple or a week or so? Uh, kind of like I feel like practice, like the first practice is where it started to sink in, but probably the first summer league game, that's probably when it'll feel like real all the way. What are you hoping to showcase at summer league? Uh, really just a little bit of everything, you know, making winning plays, uh, distributing the ball, scoring the ball, defending. Just doing all type of stuff uh, to help us win. What, what's the team told you their expectations are for you in this game? Uh, really just, just come out and, and be myself and play hard. Uh, like I said, try to make winning plays on both sides of the ball. And uh, also show some leadership and uh, show I know how to kind of tell dudes what to do and, and get us organized and stuff like that. How much are you putting on your shoulders to perform well? Not much, you know, it's just, it's all basketball at the end of the day. Uh, it's what I've been doing forever, so I'm just trying to go out there and have fun and then play hard and, and hopefully win some games. How, how eager are you to kind of get back into kind of like a game rhythm again? Like it's been, you probably haven't played, probably haven't played like an organized game since, since March. Yeah. Just, what's the anticipation like for that? Uh, super ready, super excited. You know, that's the best part is the game, so uh, it'll be cool getting back out there and getting to play. So definitely a little, little eager to do that. Coach mentioned that you got a chance maybe to look out a little bit with Jalen, some of the guys, some of the roster guys that, that have been, been around here. What has been the biggest thing that you've taken from from working out with them and kind of beginning to get integrated with the team? Uh, just we got a good group of people. Like everybody's super cordial. Uh, everybody's open to coming in and getting work together. Uh, you know, so it just seemed like a, a good atmosphere and, and a good group of guys so far. How excited are you to play with Jet for the first time? Uh, super excited, you know. Uh, we were roommates at a camp last summer, so we, we, we became cool a little bit there. So it'll be fun playing with him. Uh, he's a great player and a great scorer, so it'll be real fun playing with him. I can imagine there's some pressure when you're a first round pick, just fans expecting to see something from you, you wanting to prove yourself. How do you sort of handle that going into summer? Uh, I don't really feel pressure from anybody outside of myself. Uh, you know, I kind of trust the work I put in. And uh, yeah, I mean, I know it's, it's a team game. I got a lot of teammates with me at the summer league, so I'm gonna try to do my part, and uh, you know, I'm confident everybody else to do their part. So it's not too much pressure on me. Uh, I'm gonna just try to have fun with it. It's probably a little early to answer this question, but is there anything so far that you've seen or experienced that feels like, hey, this is different than college or anything else I've done so far? Not too much, but I mean, it's different rules like defensive three seconds, the take fouls, just stuff like that. That's really the only, like the big game rules changes, that's the only difference so far. Did you and uh, Jed have a chance to, to settle settle the debate that you had last summer and get some one-on-one -on -one in? Or? Nah, not yet. <laughs> we'll have to do that, though. Not yet, though. Take us through what the first couple days of summer league practice have been like for you. Just a lot of learning, um, filling out the new guys, getting up and down a little bit, but not too much, and just a lot of learning, I would say. Have you had time to digest the fact that you know you're now in the NBA? You're going through these things. Has it all started to settle in yet at all? Kind of. Yeah. Not quite there. I think summer league is gonna give me. But to be honest, not yet. Yeah. What's been the biggest thing that, that they wanted to work on with you as far as kind of getting acclimated and getting ready with this team? I just learned the system. Um, learning all the new plays, all the new sets. Um, learning the culture as well. So. I think we'll get acclimated even more in these next few days. Coach, that, that, that you got a chance maybe to work out a little bit with Jalen and, and some of the other guys that are on here. What, what have you learned specifically from, from him and just kind of learning what it takes to, to work at this level? Just their hard work, their consistency as well. Like, they show up every day. I don't think they have to, but they do it. So just the professionalism that they show and the dedication. What are you hoping to showcase in summer league? Um, honestly, just wins. I feel like when we win, we cover everything. So once we bring home the dub, everybody eats, in my opinion. What, what have the Magic told you they want to see out of you in these summer league games? Probably just competitiveness. Competitiveness, um, you know, team chemistry as well. Um, finding how I play well in the system. And I think bouncing off everybody and playing well with others. I think that was like the main thing, the main message. You said it hasn't said in yet that you're in the NBA, playing in the NBA. What do you anticipate that moment will be like at Summer League? 
when I score my first bucket, and then I can kind of just be like, oh, I'm here. But no, it was the same thing in college. I feel like in college, you, just, you don't really feel like you're in college until that game hits you. So, probably that moment. How cool will it be to play with Caleb, um, given your connection? And how well did you know him before uh, this season? It's going to be awesome to play with Caleb. I was up in Ann Arbor with him so many times during his freshman year at Michigan. And I spent a lot of time with DJ this offseason as well. So, got a lot of Michigan guys. <laughs> a lot of Michigan guys. Yeah. How, how valuable has it been to have guys like Caleb and Kevon on, on the summer league roster specifically who you know, played with this team last year and kind of know what the expectations are? I mean, it's been great. Those guys are super uh, well-rounded, real good players, and I feel like you know they're teaching us just like the coaches. So when a, when a player is telling you the same thing as a coach, it kind of resonates even more with you, I feel like.